Rallies stress that what is happening in Aleppo is an American problem, too, that this country has turned away from suffering in Syria. <laughs> Prayers tonight for those in Syria were offered by the American Muslims for Palestine. Members organized the rally. Chicago stands with Aleppo. If we don't stand with the Syrian people, then we are essentially hypocrites and we are selected in our activism. The show of solidarity comes at the conclusion of day one of an expected three-day evacuation <laughs> of rebel-held districts in Aleppo. The Red Cross is overseeing it all after a deal was brokered by rebel-backing Turkey and Russia, which has backed the government in months of intensified airstrikes and shelling that have leveled what was the country's financial center. What have we been doing in the past couple of months? Is it only when a situation becomes a hot topic that we start to read about it and that we start to think about it? The evacuation could signal a turning point in this five-year-long civil war, a victory for President Bashar al-Assad, who compared it to history-changing events like the birth of Christ and the fall of the USSR. Those here see it differently. At the time when you and your regime will be in the darkest corner, at a time when so many feel so helpless. What's happening in Syria is proof that regardless of the availability of real-time evidence available to all of us, this has not made us more accountable to those who continue to die and suffer. Those here say their own country turned away. Call President Obama. He is not going to do anything. It's impossible, they say, to turn away now. This is not new. And this will not end soon. Those here were encouraged to make donations to organizations working in the country, like the Syrian American Medical Society. I'm live tonight in Bridgeview. Randy Bellasomo, WGN News. All right.